last year, the city council passed some new ordinances limiting when fire, legal fireworks could be used inside the city of Eugene. Uh, this year, now that it's the second year, we're repeating the amnesty turn-in. That'll be June 28th in the afternoon at Second and Chambers. So if people have illegal fireworks and they just want to turn them in, we'll take them, no questions asked. And of course, this year, with the uh, very dry season that we're having, the fire danger is really high. Uh, we do have drought conditions uh, in Lane County declared by, by the governor. We do ask everyone to use extra caution, again, keeping the fireworks legal, keeping them in non-combustible areas. The other thing we'd like people to remember is that we have a lot of combat veterans uh, living in our community now, more and more every day, and the sounds, even from legal fireworks, can be pretty disturbing to people who have been through intense combat experiences, so we'd like them to keep that in mind. I'm a disabled veteran from the uh, post-Vietnam era. The bombs and flares from uh, basic training uh, flashback. I do have PTSD and I live in the train song neighborhood, which can be noisy anyway, so I th thought this sign might help. This is a chance to identify your property uh, as a place where the fireworks will impact somebody there, whether it's an animal or a veteran, and to invite a conversation. So we're encouraging people, if you see these signs in your neighborhood, to go talk to your neighbor and let them know that you do plan to use fireworks, let them know what time period, so that they have a chance to prepare.